We know the enemy wants our children. He wants to pull them away from us, from their faith, and from the one true God. In 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8, we're warned about a formidable adversary, the devil who roams like a roaring lion, searching for someone to consume. This stark image reminds us of the reality that our children are often the targets of this enemy. The devil's goal is to draw them away from us, their faith and the one and only true God. He employs various tactics, including temptation, distractions, and deceit to achieve this. But in the face of this challenge, we're not left defenseless. No, we are not helpless. Far from it, because we serve a mighty God who loves our children even more than we do. And that's pretty awesome, right? Our God, in His infinite love and wisdom, has provided us with the privilege of prayer. He invites us into conversation with Him, encouraging us to pour out the deepest desires of our hearts. The Bible, God's Word, is a treasure trove of wisdom and promises that can shape and guide our prayers. So, my dear friends, let's discuss this heartfelt topic, a matter so close to our hearts that it can, at times, make our bones tremble. Praying for our children. Just as 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 vividly describes, our adversary, the devil, is indeed like a roaring lion, prowling, seeking someone to devour. This reality, my friends, hits home for me personally. It reminds me of times when I felt the weight of worry for my own children, sensing that same prowling presence, aiming to snatch away their faith and joy. But here's the uplifting truth we stand on. We're not helpless. In fact, we are soldiers who are well equipped in this spiritual battle for our children. The enemy, crafty as he may be, trying to lure our kids through temptations, distractions, and deceptions, isn't undefeatable. As parents, guardians, and mentors, we've been given a mighty tool. Prayer. And not just any prayer, but prayer powered by the living Word of God. I've experienced this power firsthand, once, during a particularly challenging time with my eldest, feeling the pressures and pulls of the world on them, I turned to prayer. I remember those nights on my knees pouring out my heart to God. It wasn't just about asking for protection, but for wisdom, guidance, and a hedge of protection around their spirit. And you know what? I witnessed a remarkable shift. Doors opened, their hearts softened, and their path became clearer. It was a testament to the power of prayer and the faithfulness of our God. So when we pray for our children, let's remember, we're not sending words into a void. We're conversing with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Great I Am. He's not a distant, indifferent being. He's our loving Father who adores our children even more profoundly than we can fathom. With that in mind, let's approach Him with the fullness of our hearts. Pray with expectancy, with a firm belief that He hears us. Pray with confidence, knowing that His promises are true. And pray with boldness, just like Joshua, who led with courage and unwavering faith. As we gear up to pray these powerful prayers bolstered by Scripture, let's stand firm like warriors in the faith. Remember, friends, our battle isn't against flesh and blood, but against the powers of this dark world and the spiritual forces of evil. Ephesians 6, 12 So let's arm ourselves with the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Imagine as you pray, that each word is a protective shield around your child. Visualize your prayers as a fortress, safeguarding their minds, hearts, and spirits. Declare with authority, like David did against Goliath, that no weapon formed against them shall prosper. In these next moments, as we prepare to pray together, let's stir up that faith within us, 
The faith that believes mountains can move, that valleys can be raised, and that our children can walk in the fullness of God's plan for them. Let's believe without a shadow of a doubt that as we pray, the enemy's plans are thwarted, his schemes dismantled. Remember, our prayers are not just words, they're powerful and effective. James 5, 16. They're the very weapon we use to fight against Satan's attacks on our children. So let's pray with the authority given to us in Christ, knowing that in him we are more than conquerors. Romans 8, 37. As we pray, let's be bold and courageous, not discouraged or dismayed. For the Lord, our God, is with us wherever we go. Joshua 1, 9. Let's claim victory in Jesus' name, believing that our prayers will shield our children from the enemy's grasp. Prepare your hearts and minds as we begin this journey of powerful, scripture-reinforced prayer together. Let's lift our voices in unity, standing in the gap for our children, declaring God's promises over their lives. We are not just hoping for victory. We are expecting it because we serve a God who has already overcome the world, John 16, 33. I warmly encourage you to stay with us until the very end. Each prayer is a step on a path of spiritual renewal and strength. Imagine them as gentle, guiding lights illuminating our way in a sometimes dark world. By remaining with us through every prayer, you're not just hearing words. You're participating in a powerful spiritual practice that can bring peace, clarity, and a deeper connection with God. Let's cherish this time together, soaking in every word and allowing God's truth to resonate deeply in our hearts. Your presence here is a blessing, and every prayer is a step closer to His divine grace. So. Let's pray with fervor, with faith, and with the full assurance that our prayers will make a difference in the spiritual realm and in the lives of our precious children. Let's be the prayer warriors they need, fighting the good fight of faith and trusting God for their protection, their guidance, and their ultimate victory in Christ. Now, friends, let's pray. Heavenly Father, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 7, we're reminded of your magnificent act of creation, how you formed the vault and separated the waters, showcasing your mighty power and intricate design. This passage is a testament to the fact that everything you create, including our children, is purposeful and valuable. Our Father God, in today's world, our children are bombarded with deceptive messages. Social media and its culture can create unrealistic expectations, pushing them towards a relentless pursuit of fame, attention, and social validation. This often leads to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety, and in the worst cases, despair and suicidal thoughts. Father, we pray earnestly for their protection from these harmful influences. May you imbue in them the deep understanding that their true worth is found in you and you alone. Your word tells us that we are made in your image, a truth that bestows upon each of us an inherent, immeasurable worth. Lord, etch this truth deeply in our children's hearts. May they comprehend that they are crafted by your divine hands, reflecting your image. Grant us, as parents, the wisdom and grace to affirm this truth to them, speaking with love and conviction. Fill our children's hearts with an overwhelming love for you, Lord, so that pleasing you becomes their greatest desire. Let them see through the hollow allure of worldly acclaim and understand that these are but snares designed to distract and entrap. Instead, guide them to find community belonging, and genuine joy among your people. May they discover the true fulfillment that comes from following you, rather than the fleeting pleasures of this world. 
Lord Jesus, help us to draw inspiration from Psalm chapter 1, verses 1 to 3. May our children be like trees planted by streams of water, which yield their fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. In all that they do, let them prosper, not according to the world's standards, but in accordance with your divine purpose and plan for their lives. We also look to Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Lord, help our children to focus their thoughts on whatever is true, noble, right, pure, lovely, admirable, excellent, or praiseworthy. In a world that often glorifies the opposite, let this verse be a guiding light for their paths. As it is written in Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11, we hold on to the promise that you have plans for our children, plans to prosper them and not to harm them, plans to give them hope and a future. May this assurance live in their hearts, dispelling any lies of worthlessness or despair. In all these things, we place our trust in you, knowing that you are the ultimate source of love, truth, and wisdom. We thank you for your unfailing love and guidance, and we commit our children into your loving hands. In Jesus' name, we pray. Almighty God, as we reflect on Jeremiah chapter 31, verse 3, where you declare, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with unfailing kindness. We are awestruck by the magnitude of your love for us. This profound truth is a beacon of hope, especially for our children who are navigating a world where feelings of loneliness and being unloved are all too common. Lord, the enemy is cunning often leading our children astray by ensnaring them in the lie that they are alone and unloved. He knows that a child who feels abandoned and uncared for is vulnerable. But your word in Jeremiah brings us back to the heartening reality of your eternal love. We ask you, Father, to remind our children of this truth let them know that your love is not just a fleeting emotion, but an unending, relentless force that surpasses any earthly affection. In a world where temporary pleasures and shallow happiness are often mistaken for true fulfillment, remind our children that these can never compare to your divine love. While the world changes and people may fail us, your love, O oh Lord, remains constant an ever-flowing fountain of compassion and kindness. Your love is perfect, never failing, and never running dry. May our children feel this love deeply and consistently in their lives. We pray that our children are constantly aware of your presence. In moments of joy and triumph and equally in times of despair and loneliness, let them feel you beside them. You are not a distant observer, but an active, caring presence in their lives. When they feel alone, remind them that you are there, watching over them, sharing in their pain, and offering comfort. Your love for our children is not just a general sentiment. It's personal and intimate. You don't just love them, you cherish them. Each child is precious in your sight, uniquely created and deeply valued. This knowledge can transform how they see themselves and the world around them. It's not just about being loved. It's about knowing they are cherished by the creator of the universe. In the book of Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 17, we find further assurance of your loving presence. You are with them, a mighty warrior who saves. You take great delight in them, rejoicing over them with singing. This imagery is not only comforting, but empowering. May our children understand they are under your watchful eye and protective arm, valued and celebrated by you. We also draw strength from Romans chapter 8, verses 38 and 39, which assures us that nothing can separate us from your love. In a world where abandonment and rejection are realities, this promise stands as a testament to your unchanging, unfailing love. 
Let our children internalize this truth, understanding that no matter what they face, be it challenges, disappointments, or failures, they are never beyond the reach of your love. Furthermore, in 1 John chapter 3, verse 1, we are called children of God, and that is what we are. This identity is not just a label. It's a reality that speaks of belonging, love, and a profound connection to you, our Heavenly Father. Help our children to embrace this identity wholeheartedly, finding their true worth and value in being your children. Lord, we ask for your wisdom and guidance as we nurture our children in this truth. Help us as parents, guardians, and mentors to be conduits of your love, reflecting your heart to them. May our words, actions, and attitudes consistently point them back to you, the source of pure, unconditional love. In our prayer, we hold on to the promise in Psalm chapter 23, where David speaks of your guidance and presence, even in the darkest valley. We pray that our children, too, will experience this reassuring guidance and presence throughout their lives, no matter where they go or what they face. May they always be aware that they are loved and cherished by you, our loving Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Heavenly Father, we turn to your wisdom as expressed in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, which cautions us not to be deceived. Bad company corrupts good character. This profound truth speaks volumes about the influence of those we surround ourselves with, especially for our children. Lord, we recognize that while your desire is for our children to be in the company of those who share faith in you, the enemy seeks the opposite. The adversary yearns for them to be encircled by those who reject you, to lead them astray, and to immerse them in worldly ways. We earnestly implore you to shield our children from such influences. We ask, Father, that you grant our children the discernment to recognize the impact of the company they keep. Instill in them the wisdom to choose friends and confidants who reflect godly values, those who will lead them closer to you, not away. Let their closest relationships be with individuals who are positive influences, who encourage them to live lives that glorify you and who strengthen their faith. In the face of peer pressure and the allure of those who do not know you, give our children the courage and conviction to stand firm. May they be anchored in your word, finding in it the strength and guidance to navigate through the challenges of life. Let your truths be deeply planted in their hearts so they can discern right from wrong and resist any distortion of your teachings. Father, we pray that our children do not merely avoid the darkness, but become beacons of your light in this world. Rather than being dimmed by the darkness around them, let their lives radiate your love, grace, and truth. May they be examples of good character and godliness in their schools, communities, and wherever they go, influencing others positively rather than being influenced negatively. We reflect on the wisdom of Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. Let this be true for our children, that they form friendships that are mutually edifying, where they and their friends encourage and uplift each other in faith and character. In Psalm chapter 119, verse 105, your word is described as a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. May this be the guiding light for our children, illuminating their way and helping them make wise choices in their relationships. Let them be guided by your principles, walking paths that lead to righteousness and peace. In the Sermon on the Mount, as recorded in Matthew chapters 5 to 7, you, Lord Jesus, taught about the blessedness of those who are poor in spirit, who mourn, who are meek, who hunger, and thirst for righteousness, who are merciful, pure in heart, peacemakers, and those persecuted for righteousness' 
sake. May these beatitudes shape the character and choices of our children, influencing not only who they are, but also who they choose to spend their time with. Father, in all things, we ask for your protective hand over our children. Guide them in their choices, guard their hearts and minds, and lead them in your ways. May they grow in wisdom, stature, and favor with you and with people, as Jesus did in Luke chapter 2, verse 52. In these requests, we trust in your providence and care, knowing that you are at work in our children's lives. We place them in your loving hands, confident in your ability to guide, protect, and nurture them. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, as we contemplate the words of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10, we find solace and strength in your promise. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. These words bring comfort and reassurance, especially as we consider the myriad challenges our children confront in their lives. Our children are navigating a maze of trials and temptations, with the enemy seizing every opportunity to lead them astray. He delights in setting lofty, often unattainable standards, watching as they struggle and often fail to meet these expectations. It is heart-wrenching to know that our children frequently end their days burdened by feelings of distress, depression, anxiety, and weakness. In a world where they often lose sight of you, every hurdle seems insurmountable, every challenge too daunting, leaving them feeling defeated and inadequate. The constant barrage of these negative emotions can be overwhelming, eroding their sense of worth and purpose. Lord, we pray that you open the eyes of their hearts, turning their focus towards you. Remind them, in moments of despair and doubt, that you are greater than any obstacle they may encounter. Reassure them that you are always present, ready to lift them up in their moments of weakness. Instill in them the deep-seated knowledge that they need not fear, for you are with them. You are their God, a God of strength, assistance, and unwavering support. Let them grasp the truth that you will fortify them, aid them, and sustain them with your righteous right hand. Fill their minds with these affirmations, Lord, so that they may find peace and rest in the assurance of your unchanging love. Let them lie down each night, not with hearts heavy with worry, but with spirits lightened by the certainty of your care and protection. We are reminded of Psalm chapter 46, verse 1, which proclaims you as our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. May our children find refuge in you, drawing strength from your presence in their lives. In Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 to 7, we are encouraged not to be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, to present our requests. Grant our children the grace to bring their worries and fears to you, finding in you a peace that surpasses all understanding. Furthermore, in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 9, your word tells us that your grace is sufficient for us, for your power is made perfect in weakness. May our children understand that in their frailties and shortcomings, your strength and power are most evident. We also draw inspiration from Joshua chapter 1, verse 9, where you command us to be strong and courageous, not to be afraid or discouraged. For you, Lord, are with us wherever we go. Let this promise be a guiding light for our children, giving them courage and confidence in every step of their journey. Father, in all these prayers, we place our trust in your sovereignty and compassion, knowing that you are actively involved in our children's lives. We surrender them into your loving care, confident in your ability to guide, guard, and nurture them. 
In the powerful and precious name of Jesus, we pray. Heavenly Father, as we reflect upon the words of 2 Samuel chapter 22, verses 3 to 4, we find solace in the declaration. My God is my rock, in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold, my refuge, and my savior. From violent people you save me. I, Lord, who is worthy of praise and have been saved from my enemies. In these verses, we find a powerful affirmation of your protection and strength, a reminder that is especially pertinent as we consider the challenges our children face in today's world. Each generation faces its own set of struggles, but it seems as though the enemy has intensified his attack on our children in ways that are unprecedented and, at times, overwhelming. The advancements in technology, for which we are grateful, have also ushered in new challenges and temptations. Social media, intended to connect us, has paradoxically left many of our children feeling more isolated and disconnected than ever before. Our current culture, often driven by self-centeredness and a pursuit of personal gain, has created an environment where our children frequently feel inadequate and defeated. These societal pressures can weigh heavily on their hearts and minds, leaving them in need of a refuge, a source of unwavering strength and safety. Lord, in these times of trial and uncertainty, we ask that you remind our children that you are their rock. Let them understand that in you, they can find refuge and safety. You are their shield, the horn of their salvation, their stronghold, and their savior. You are the one who delivers them from violence and harm. We call upon your name, Lord, for you are indeed worthy of all praise. We beseech you to rescue our children from the clutches of the enemy. In the midst of the storms they face, let them feel your presence as a constant and comforting force, guiding and protecting them. In Psalm chapter 46, verse 1, we are reminded that you are our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. May our children experience this truth, finding you a sanctuary from the turmoil and challenges they encounter. Furthermore, in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13, we are assured that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Instill in our children the confidence that with your strength, they can overcome the obstacles and temptations that confront them. We also draw strength from Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18, where we are instructed to put on the full armor of God to stand against the schemes of the devil. Equip our children with this spiritual armor, truth, righteousness, the gospel of peace, faith, salvation, and the word of God so that they may stand firm against the forces that seek to undermine their faith and well-being. Father, in the face of adversity, let our children remember the words of Jesus in John chapter 16, verse 33, where he assures us that he has overcome the world. In their moments of doubt and fear, let this assurance bring them peace and courage. We place our trust in your loving care, knowing that you are actively working in our children's lives. We surrender them into your capable hands, confident in your promise to guide, protect, and nurture them through every challenge they face. In the mighty and loving name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. If these prayers have resonated with you, please affirm your agreement by commenting to this video with the words, God protect our children. This simple act signifies your faith and desire to shield our young ones from the adversary's grasp. We invite you to subscribe to our channel where we continually seek God's guidance and protection for our families. If you know someone who could benefit from these prayers, please share this video with them. We understand the power of community and prayer, especially on this crucial topic. If you or someone you know is in need of specific prayers for protecting children from negative influences, please leave your prayer requests in the comments.
we are committed to praying for each request. We wholeheartedly believe in the power of collective prayer. Join us in this journey of faith as we earnestly seek God's protective hand over our precious children. Dear friend, you don't want to miss our next episode. We'll dive deep into faith's power in overcoming life's challenges, exploring how trust in God can transform fear into strength and doubt into certainty. We'll share the incredible ways God works in our lives when we fully commit to Him. Each episode of Victory in Christ promises to be an uplifting and enlightening journey filled with practical advice, heartfelt prayers, and inspiration to strengthen your faith and renew your spirit. So don't miss this opportunity to deepen your connection with God and be part of a community that uplifts and supports each other. Tap the screen now and join us for an episode that could change the way you view life's challenges and your faith journey.